In this video, we're going to discuss wiring the telephone feeds and the cable feeds in a house under construction. Now, I'm taking this video from inside the house, and you can see on the left of your screen, right there, that giant gray wire, that's the electrical service feed that's coming from outside the house from the utility. And uh, you can see how close the, let's see, right here, that's Cat5, that's for phone. Now we ran two because, you know, one's a backup. So if one wire has problems or issues, you have a second wire that you can use. And this is a two-story house with a brick exterior, and they're going to spray foam these walls. So when this is done, it's done. That's why we've run extra. Now here in the middle, these black wires, these are RG6. They're regular RG6. They are not quad shield. We decided to run four of them. Let's go outside the house and I'll explain why. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. All right, so we're standing outside of the house and we're going to take a look at the cable coax feeds and the telephone feeds. But I just want to share a little bit with you regarding uh, what's going on outside of the house here. Now he's going to have a gas meter that's right here. And here is the gas line that goes into the house, and there's the gas line service feed. So I mentioned this is a brick exterior wall. Here are the brick ties, and this is OSB with a special coating as a vapor barrier, and then they tape the seams as opposed to using that Tyvek. So we're going to come back here a little bit, and here's the electrical meter. And this house has a generator, it has an automatic generator, and then here's the uh, relay switch, it's an automatic relay switch. And then this is another electrical box in relation to the generator. So we decided that we would come over here and we would bring the four coax out right here at this height because we want to try to keep everything uniform and neat. As you can see everything's been drawn on the wall. And if you have a tight space like this job, we recommend that you take the time to, to measure this out and contemplate. Now, where I'm standing, literally, is where the generator is going to sit. So there's just enough room for the cable company guy or the satellite company gal to hook their devices up right here and run their ground wire, which they're required to do, to one of the ground rods that's going to be here. Same thing, if the customer activates telephone service or DSL or uh, U-verse, which is that proprietary uh, system, that box can sit right here on the wall and they too will run their ground wire to the ground rod. So we took time to make sure that these feeds get out of the wall at an appropriate height, appropriate distance from one another, and at uh, an appropriate location on the wall. Those are three factors. We've decided we're going to extend these coaxes, uh, not because they need it, because they're going to wind up cutting the excess away, but because, again, when the brick goes up, you can't make them any, well, it's very difficult to make them longer because there's sprayed in insulation on the interior walls. So that ends this video on how to run your coax cable feeds for cable and satellite and your telephone feeds. Now, different people are going to debate how many coaxes you're going to run. Some people are going to say, oh, you only need one. Some are going to say, oh, you only need two. Um... I just think the wise thing to do at this stage of the game is to run four. That way uh, the wire is not that expensive and if you're going to run one, run four. You'll probably be glad that you did. Same thing on the Cat5. I think one is probably enough, but uh, a lot of people feel like two is wise, so we went with what we thought was the wise decision. Hey, thanks. Please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you watching. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.